one of the most important discoveries in the 20th century was the discovery of the real meaning of myth. Myth is a story or framework of thought to which we respond and which enables us to interpret uh, reality in a meaningful way. There is a new myth emerging and it's only a myth because I'm using it in its positive sense and that is that we are responsible for the earth and that there is now laid upon our shoulders the responsibility for all life on earth. We are in a unique position. We are one of the hundreds of thousands of creatures on this earth, but we alone have the power to destroy life on earth. Because we have multiplied so rapidly and have taken over uh, for our own benefit the, the riches and, and the fruits of the earth and are squandering them, unfortunately, and at the same time polluting the earth and causing many species to die. This is the myth of how to perpetuate the life on earth in its fullest possible form has become a tremendous responsibility for the human species. And the 21st century is, is going to be a, a, a century of, of crisis and judgment in this respect. see that making war, trying to gain control of, of resources such as oil and so on, puts us at war with the planet itself, puts us at war with, with all life on Earth. And really should cause us to have a tremendous change of thinking in all that we do, both uh, politically and internationally. So this is the new myth, the greening of the earth, in fact the greening of Christianity, how the Christian tradition now must turn its attention to, to these issues. These are the, the religious issues of our day. In spite of my fears of what is going to happen in this 21st century, I had put my faith in the world. After all, the world is bigger than the human species, and the world of life is bigger than the human species, and perhaps the human species is actually bringing about its own destruction and doesn't deserve to continue on this planet and other life forms will take its place. In the latter years, it's not frustration so much as sorrow that I feel that um, the world is not responding as I feel it ought to be for its own good to the real issues that, it, that, it, that it's facing. Now, in this respect, I often look back to uh, the story in the New Testament of Jesus looking over Jerusalem and expressing sorrow that in fact it was going the way it did. Oh Jerusalem, Jerusalem, killing the prophets, stoning those who were sent to you, how often 
often would I have gathered you together as a hen gathers its brood under its wings and you would not. And now you will be left desolate and empty. And the words themselves are more poignant today than they have ever been. I see the tensions in the city of Jerusalem as in many ways symbolic of the much wider tensions and growing conflict and problems in the globe as a whole. And I have to say, it fills me with pessimism. What is life all about? If one were to pick something in particular, it would be the importance of love, both in human relationships and in the way in which love binds people together and the world together. And after all, even the New Testament expresses it so well when it says, God is love.